Now let's get to Baby Dogecoin. We are in this trade, by the way, and we are in profit already. But now there's something here that I've seen. This huge volume candle, you know, this vector candle. For me to confirm that this move is going to be the next move to the upside because this move has been rejected here. It has been rejected here, you know, in this area that I mentioned that if we see price break below, we should see retest to this area. And if the retest is not able to break, you know, above, like do something like this, you know, then maybe we can sell from here. Those of you who, uh, or you can take a trade from here, you know, if you didn't take it from here, you can take it from here and place your stop loss above there. Or you can cash out profit now. Those of you, uh, you know, have been in this, um, like you are swing trading baby Dogecoin and you want to wait for the next move or you are looking for. You would have exit long time ago. Like, you know, after this huge pump to the upside, you can see it breaks structure. Yeah. That's been uh, this structure up here has been broken. You know, now we are we are gonna wait for price to see what price will do. If price break back up here, come back, then maybe the alpha trend can print a buy signal. But for now, the alpha trend printed is a, a, a sell signal and the sell signal stand. But if say we see a buy signal or pull back from here, then the target is gonna be where the alpha trend printed a sell signal. So you can cash up profit from there. So, and this is how the trade is gonna look like. So let me just set it up right now for those of you who on um, one trade this you know you can look at this or let's say let's go to the 15 minutes time frame so or the yeah the 15 minutes time frame so we can get a better entry there okay so looking at this time frame right now i would say that if say baby dogecoin is able to hold this zone here yeah? you know if we see price price is able to hold, hold this zone then you can place the trade you know and the stop loss should be around this area but price must be able to hold this zone you know so um let's see something like this yeah so if we see price get back there you know even though we have seen the alpha trend printed a buy a buy signal i want to see price get back to this zone if price get back to this zone then it holds the zone and um, that's when maybe you can place that order and this take profit is let's go to the uh, one hour time frame to see where the take profit is gonna be so let's see so it's gonna be yeah so that's gonna be a huge trade for you you know so that's what i'm looking at Usually the, the um, price might just recover only half of this vector candle and price have done it. You know, price is staying above the alpha trend. So you you can still say that if price stay above the alpha trend, you know, stay above this range, then you can um, place that trade already. Then stop loss is not being down here. Then cash out your profit here. So that's what I'm looking at now for Baby Dogecoin on these lower time frames. Now, if I have to go to this chart of a bit coin i want to look at the other chart of a bit coin let me take off the alpha trend you know let's bring in baby Dogecoin coin on on uh, okx let's see now this chart on okx is one of those chart that i have been talking about here for a long time let me zoom out here you know because i want us to see something here look at this move to the upside on the daily time frame it printed this vector candle and it wasn't able to recover this vector candle it printed another one again and take it to the next high and we haven't yet seen a full recovery of the vector candle where we saw half and usually when the price is bullish they recover half of that vector candle you know and now price is back at this range if we look at the volume profile price is now around the um, poc so if price break below the POC, if price does something like this, go below, then the next target is going to be this zone here, yeah? you know. And if price is able to break below this zone, then, then the next target is going to be this zone. And if price hold this area here yeah, for baby Dogecoin, then I think we can start seeing the next move. But if, say, price come right down here, yeah, I think there's high chances that they are going to come and recover at least half of this vector here. Yeah this one yeah so pay attention to this guys pay attention to this it doesn't mean that baby dogecoin won't pump to like 10 billion market cap or you know but i'm doing this analysis for those of you who want to get better entries or you want to trade this bad boy you want to you know make more baby dogecoin you want to, want to see opportunities that are going to help you buy more and if you're using leverage don't use leverage i don't use leverage i use uh, i do more of spot because it's so volatile I don't want to use leverage. If I buy spot, it's still good. I trade it and I have spot investment. Remember what I mentioned in one of my videos? You can have a Dogecoin. One of it is spot. You swing trade spot while the other you invest. So I can see uh, Yaya Monada say, let's go, baby Dogecoin. Let's go. Let's go to the moon.
<laughs> Let's go to the moon. I'm here to analyze the market properly for people who want to understand, people who want to take the, the, the market to the next level, who want to take the, their investment to the next level. Not people who just want to come here and get hyped. No, I don't do that. You know, so yeah, that's why. Anyways, if you have any question regarding Baby Dogecoin, do post your question.